everyone welcome to this new tutorial today we are going to go ahead and talk about parameters in jenkins what are parameters in jenkins right in jenkins parameters are actually elements that you supply they are value that you supply at runtime and jenkins will take that and consume that as environment valuable meaning that for example at the beginning uh let's say for example um we know if i want to start in in the bash script right let me increase this terminal in the bash script, for example, we can say user, we can pass this parameter, we can pass this user equal, for example, Eric, right? We can pass this user equal Eric. What's going to happen is that if we type echo dollar sign user, it's going to return Eric, right? Let's go to the terminal and give it a try. So we can say, for example, here, I can say, user equal Eric. Now if I say echo and then I query user, it's going to return Eric. That's the same concept with the Jenkins parameter. So what you do is that you set this value, right? You set this value at the, in your Jenkins file or you set your, this value in your Jenkins console. Then what you do later on is that at runtime, you provide this value and Jenkins will you, you set this value, you set this key, sorry, this is the key because this is a key, this is the value. So you set this key in the Jenkins, right? You can put it, use it, uh, you can use, for example, like the Jenkins file to go ahead and set that value, or maybe you can use the Jenkins console to go ahead and set that, uh, the key, sorry, I will say key, but it, it, the, the value is the key. Then at the run time, meaning that when you're about to run the job, you supply this value. And Jenkins will take this value and store it in this key, right? Jenkins will take this value and store it here in this key. So that's just the, the meaning. The same thing will happen. If you say, for example, echo user, it will return Eric. Why? Because Jenkins took this key and store in this value. If you're really familiar with how like a partial script value uh, works, you will understand it's, it will be super easy, right? This have to be set, meaning that this has to exist. This key has to exist. Then at runtime, we provide this value. Now, let's go to the Jenkins console and try to test this. So I'm going to create a, a simple dummy job. Let's call that job parameters. Let's use this freestyle. That's just to test. And then after we go to, uh, we try to do this with the Jenkins file, right? So to do that, you will have to come here this project is parameterized. If you click here, you can read all this. That's how you set parameter. So let's check here, this project is parameterized. It's going to give us parameters to add. Now here, Jenkins has multiple type of parameter, right? Jenkins has multiple type of parameter. I'm just going to cover the most used, like the Boolean parameter, the choice parameter. So the parameter that I mostly use are the Boolean parameter, the choice parameter, and the, the string parameters. So those are the parameters that are mostly used. These three parameters, they are mostly used. But um, what is the Boolean parameter, right? The Boolean, something Boolean just means yes or no, or you know, true or false, right? Boolean, something you, what you want is like a set something for like true or false. You can go ahead and, and set that and use the Boolean parameter, right? So let's say here, for example, I will say true, for example, I will say true. Can provide this uh, value here. This first boolean value here. I will say true. For example, right? I can set that as default if I want. Now let's go ahead. I can put a description, right? You can put a description here. Uh, for example, verify if the config file exists, right? You say true. For example, right? I can create, for example. Um, another Boolean parameter where I will say false, right? I will say true, then here I will say false, right? You can copy the same thing here. Then I can set this one if I want to set, for example, true as uh, true as the default, right? The default mean that if not specify, use true as default. Now, if you apply and save, 
I think here claim a parameter. So I'll be able to choose at runtime one of these value, right? I can choose at runtime one of these value, and then I can write a little script that will check this value if I want. So that's how you provide the that's how when you provide like the Boolean parameter, it looks like, right? The Boolean parameter here looks like, but people don't really use this Boolean parameter too much because it's, it's much easier to go ahead like and use the code to set uh, the condition easily, right? It's much easier to go ahead and use the code to set the condition uh, easily. Now, another type of parameter that we are going to see that is widely used out there, uh, let's take the choice parameter, right? Choice parameter means that you're going to pick the choice, right? You're going to pick a choice at runtime. So let's say, for example, uh, country, right? Let's take, for example, country. That we can see here Nigeria, for example. You can see here Cameroon, for example. We can see here USA, for example. And you can see here Ghana. These four countries, and let's add Mexico. Now, these are the choices, right? When you say a choice that you can only make one choice out of this, right? You can only pick one choice out of this, right? So you can add a description saying, select your country, right? If I apply and save and come down here to be with parameter, you see how I can pick the country at runtime. Let's go ahead and verify this. Let's go back to configure. And let's type something, for example, like I mentioned earlier, like I mentioned earlier, for example, here, this is the key. And you are going to store, the. this is the key, right? And you are going to store one of these value at one time. So Jenkins will treat this as a key. And as, as you put this like this, this become an environment valuable for Jenkins. And whatever you will, you will, whatever choice you make, Jenkins will store that here. And if I do echo, I query this, I'll be able to see it. So let's go, uh, uh, let's go to the shell. Let's open the shell here. And let's just say, I am from dollar sign. I am from country, right? Let's apply and see. If I build this right now, let's pick first, uh, Nigeria. If I build this right now, let's say build something fails. Let's see. I am from Nigeria, but something for Mac view as failure. Temporary I. Yes, this is because I didn't say echo, right? It's missing the echo statement. I'm trying to print something, so I have to go with echo. I forget to put this and put inside echo. An echo statement. So if I go ahead and build a game, it will tell me echo, I am from Nigeria, right? As you guys can see, the dollars and country was replaced by Nigeria. If I go back and pick a country like Mexico and build, it will say echo, I am from Mexico. So the choice parameter allow me to pick a choice at runtime. That's why we say choice parameter, right? It allows me to pick a choice at runtime, right? I can change it to like USA, a bill. It will give me, I am from USA. So the, the, the choice parameter allow you to pick, like for example, a choice at runtime. Now, let's see another type of parameter. Another type of parameters that we are going to see, right? Another type of parameter we are going to see is the string parameter, right? Let's go ahead and enter. Another type of parameter that we are going to see here is a string parameter, which is mostly used. The string parameter is just a parameter that you provide at runtime, right? It's just a parameter that you provide at runtime. Let's say, for example, I say name, right? I can put my default name, right? You can put a default name to be, for example, Eric, right? Then I can come down here. Say for example, echo what my name is dollar sign name, right? Echo my name is dollar sign name. You can put that here, like echo my name is dollar sign name. So what's gonna happen at runtime is that this is actually the key and this value will be stored. This is just the default value that I can override at runtime. So if I apply and save, 
So I come down here, as you guys can see, pop out here. I can delete it. I can, you know, but let's give it the one run first. Let's come down here, check. My name is Eric, right? I can come here and change again, view with parameter. I can say, for example, uh, my name is, for example, uh, uh, Odilia, right? I can say my name is Odilia here. View, parameter, view with parameters. I think I clicked twice. My name, I, I, I get the wrong view. So let's get, I put here Odilia. Make sure I get it right. View, view number 11 came up. Let's go to console output. My name is Odilia, right? So as you can see, the main difference, for example, between the choice parameter and the string parameter is that the choice parameter, you provide a choice at runtime, right? You pick the choice. But the string parameter, you can actually go ahead and input your choice that you want, right? You can go ahead and input your choice that you want. Another parameter that you can also use is the file parameter, like upload the file at, at the runtime. It's not that really uh, uh, use, right? You can provide a file, for example, at, at runtime, if you choose like a file parameter, I don't have to specify the location. I'm just going to show you, but I'm not going to demonstrate because it's not that much use. If you come down here at runtime, you can click here, right? You can click here to actually provide a, a choice, right? You can basically go and click there to, to pick a file that you want to, you want to basically go ahead and upload. But technically, people don't do this a lot on the console. So technically, people don't do this a lot on the console. So let's try to see how we can use this in Jenkins file, right? Let's let's try to see how we can actually generate this in Jenkins file. Now, I'm going to go back and create another jobs, another job here called, I would say, for example, Jenkins file, pipeline, job. Then let's keep it simple. I'm going to, uh, uh, this time around, I will go ahead and pick the simple hello world job here. And let's apply and save for now. Now I will open this VS code, and then I will paste this here. That's just like the the, the simple Jenkins file you can start from, right? So I will click here, close here. So I like to give it uh, space here, the stages. I put it like this. You have the stages that close here. So I like to give it space like this so that it makes it easy uh, to see what we are doing. So. Now, I think it's too big. Let me go ahead and huh? decrease it a little bit. Now, let's go back. Let's go and generate this. If I want to generate the choices, for example, um, let me go back to this. I will take this pipeline syntax here. I okay, use this pipeline syntax to get that done. I will open here. It will show me all the pipeline syntax. Uh, what I'm, I'm writing here is a decorative pipeline. So I will go here on decorative generator. I will look for this. I just want to look for parameters here, right? See here, parameters. I will click here, it will open parameters. Then I can add parameters. As you guys can see, it is showing me the same thing, right? It is showing me the same thing that I showed you guys earlier there. So let's add, for example, like a choice parameter here, right? Let's add a choice parameter here. Let's call it country, the same thing that we did there earlier. Let's say here country, and let's put our country, right? I can come back here, I can go here, go back to this dashboard go back to this job, then I can copy, for example, these parameters there. So let's start, um, I think we we'll start with the Boolean parameter. So let's go back here and let's close this. Let's start with the Boolean parameter here. We had this one here set at true. I will replicate the same thing that we did there, right? I will put the description with a, uh, <clears throat> Description verify if the config file exists. I can go ahead and add another Boolean parameter. False, for example. False, for example. Then I will put the same thing here. Now, well, these are the choice. I picked up the choice parameter. Instead, I need to pick the Boolean. I already used Boolean one time, so I can just generate that. Use a snippet to generate another one, right? So 
I can come down here, I will, I will generate that. Then after, I will go ahead and duplicate that. So it's not a problem. So let's go here and use a choice parameter. We say here, name. And we come down here, we pick, call it country, right? Not name. So let's call it here, country, for example, right? Let's call it here, country, for example. And did we put any description? Select your country, now a description. Now, we can come down here and add the string parameter. This here that we use name. Now with the default name that we use here was Eric. It was in a capital letter, Eric. Description was something, enter your name. We didn't put any description there, but we can put it here. Enter your name. The next thing that we used was actually the file parameter. We didn't put anything. We can just enter like upload the config file to upload the config file here. You can just say something simple like that. Then I can use this snippet to go ahead and generate that, right? I can use this snippet to go ahead and generate that. Then it will generate this for me, right? I will, I will have this generated for me, right? I will have this uh, parameter section generated for me, right? And then I can take that parameter section um, to go ahead and, and use it. I can, I can put it on the stage, right? I can take this parameter section to go ahead and use it. Then I can put this on the stage. So what I'm going to do here is that I will open another snippet, for example. I will make it look good, right? I will rearrange it, right? So for example, here, volume parameter, uh, description. So I can come down here on, on the volume parameter, description, colon, and comma. So I can come here, go to the line here, right? Or I can keep, I can, we can keep it in one line like this for the choice parameter here. So we have the choice, comma, you can go to the line here, description, right? For the name, I go to the line. Just want to make it look good, right? For the string parameter, right? We have, uh, we have the string parameter, uh, uh, default value here, right? Eric, you have the description, enter your name, or you have, um, you can put a description here, you can say default value, for example, the string value, and you can go ahead and for here where it says name, you can go ahead and here and get it done like this, then upload the file, name, you want to keep it, for example, here, empty. So you can have like this, this parameter, right? You can, you can have like these parameters and, and you can have like these parameters and you pass those parameters and it's going to, it's going to work. So we can come down here, right? We can come down here, for example, and pick this. And there are multiple ways to write this, all right? There are multiple ways to write this uh, as well. You can use it as a stage, which which I like to do, use it as a stage. For example, if I go to uh, the to this account here, Devil Busy Learning, if I change this one, uh, like if, if I come down here, I will add this link. If I come here and search, for example, for like parameters, like there are many ways to use that, for example, right? We can set up, you know, we can set up our parameter like in the stage, right? Have this, all this property, the string, the value and everything. So you can set that in the stage as well, if you want. So let's copy this here and let's put it here, right? As parameters. Let me go ahead and push this here. We advance this here. So let's copy this. Let's go back to Jenkins. Let's go back to the dashboard. I think it's Jenkins file was this job. Configure. You can paste it here on this terminal. Here, right? You can paste it here on this terminal. Apply. Save. There we can run it. 
It's, as you see here, it says build now, but when I run it, it's going to change to build with parameter. As you guys can see, if I refresh, if I refresh here, it will become build with parameter, right? As you guys can see, it has one stage. Now, if I enter inside the jar, you will see that it has configured all these parameters. See, it's the same thing for structure as a code. That's why it's called pipeline as a code. He has went ahead and configured all these parameter, all these parameter for me. Now I can come here, right? I can come here and say, for example, pass our command echo, right? I just have to say, let me do it here so that it makes more sense uh, to you. This is the stage. Let's call this stage test, right? So we can come here. I like to use sh one two three quote. Let's go back one two three quote. So I can come down here. Then I say echo put it. I say my name is dollar sign name. Right. I am from dollar sign country. Right. My name is I am from Dollar Sun Quality. Then I close the, the quote. I can basically copy this, come down here and put it here. Apply and save. And we can review. Let's go to the console output. Echo, my name is Eric. I am from Nigeria, right? You can also, if you want, you can copy this and you go to GitHub instead of using this. Uh, you can basically go to, let's say for example, I will click here on code block. I will come down here. I will search for this job that I'm having. I'll call it drinking series. I can come down here for example, and this is the Jenkins file that I used on my previous video. I can change this. To put this here, I commit this here. I go back and take the URL of this. This is a public project. Now I'll come down here, go back to Jenkins side of configuration. If, if I don't want to paste stuff on the terminal, I can say source code management. I want to use Git as source code management. Then I want to paste this here. The Jenkins file is what is expected. And then I'll have to change this one to develop because the branch is developed, right? Then Jenkins, we actually do the same thing, but if we take this file from GitHub instead. As you can see, Jenkins, we go ahead and clone, right? And at the end of the day, I have the same thing. So this is how you manage, uh, this is how you manage uh, uh, parameters in Jenkins. It's easy, but the most used, like I said, is the choice parameter, the Boolean parameter, and the, the string the string parameter i hope you like this video see you on the like on the next video please don't forget to subscribe you can also follow us on other social media like facebook instagram tiktok uh, linkedin it was a pleasure having you guys around see you next time